He's got power, but Turbo's got technique. 30 seconds to time limit. Turbo staying low, and that is the key. Sean steps over Turbo, tries it again. Oh. Turbo rips it away. Turbo goes to 5 and 0 in a whiplash. Get on to us, buddy. Sean attempts a little flip move here, but because of the angle, he cannot hold on. Turbo victorious once again. Now, can he make it 6 and 0? Wesley Berry will try his hand at Turbo. Off hand down the way from the body, making my whistle now. Locking in for that good grip. Ready! Too West strong. trying to use his speed. Yes, he is quick. And his ability to change direction to knock Turbo off balance. Nothing's working though. He goes left, he goes right, he goes over Turbo. <laughs> Turbo knew he had it with about three seconds to go. These power and strength games definitely giving Wesley a lot of trouble today. Turbo, when I think of you and Whiplash, I think of three words. They're all the same, technique, technique, technique. That's exactly what it is, Mike. You've got to have good feet, keep yourself in line at all times. Try and use his momentum against him when you can. If you can't, you take what he gives you. I'm the man, and you just saw it. And the other three words, own the bone. You did it. Own the bone, that baby's mine. Dale's a husband and father of four, and he's played some football with the NFL and the Canadian Football League as well. Matter of fact, Larry Dale was a member of the Denver Broncos back in the mid 80s for a couple of seasons. Now he'll try his hand at something entirely different and not doing too well early on as Turbo quickly makes short work of Dale Thompson. Well, quickly is the right description, Mike. You can see here just one, one solid shot to the forehead followed by another, and that's the end of the story for Dale. So now it's Rob Atishi's turn. Rob, not quite as big as Dale, and it really doesn't matter against a guy like Turbo who goes about 6'3 and 260. Rob at about 5'10, 190. He'll have to rely on quickness and cunning to get the job done. He'll have to be very quick and very smart, giving up that kind of weight and strength uh, advantage to Turbo. Turbo hasn't been up there before, but shows that he's very adept at this new competition. Does very well. Fortunately, Rob didn't last quite as long as Dale did. Here's Mike. Turbo, what's all this stuff about starting slow and then kicking in the afterburners? Are you polished off those two contenders in a total of nine seconds? Well, Mike, as you know, the longer Turbo runs, the stronger it gets. These guys are just lucky they didn't let me get warmed up. Well, you made that pugil stick look like a piston rod in your hand, the way you're handling it. First time on this pedestal. Yeah, and I'll be surprised if anybody ever gets me off it. Well, you heard it. Turbo yeah. lays down the gauntlet. Ready? Turbo get body slammed immediately, and that'll shake you up. James Don't trying to spin Don't past score. Turbo. He throws James out of bounds. He's a little banged up. John a little upset. He's out. Uh, oh. to score. I tell you what, Turbo has terminated both uh, Johnny and James every time down, the contenders up. have come his way. Like a little strategy by the Gladiators is working very well. Thunder sort of rotating in for in. He's playing zone defense and giving help to whichever gladiator needs it. Johnny came mighty close to scoring. Turbo perhaps a little high around Johnny's head. Also came close to losing his head at the hands of Turbo. Turbo a little over. Well, 45 seconds is over. And the gladiators have themselves a shutout. And Turbo takes a leap up on the divider, celebrating his victory, the big bully. Is right here. He takes Johnny to the mat. No uncertain terms. Hello, AstroTurf. Comes around, grabs him again. Johnny pays the price twice in a row. Well, Turbo promised us he'd be back, and he is for a song. Going down to his band. Let's go. They're both going down. Both of them. Going down. 
And nobody loves it any more than the fans here. They are extremely happy that Turbo is back. He's got the crowd pumped up. They're ready for Teddy because he's up first. He's tied with Tommy Knox. 4-4 coming into this event. And according to Turbo, they're both going down in a hurry. There's his record in this event. Not a bad one. Contenders have 60 seconds to weave through this assault course. Every time they engage a weapon, that's worth a point. The ultimate objective to hit that target above the gladiator, that's worth 10 points. Why is this oh. man smiling? <laughs> I'm telling and, you. And an evil smile, too. That shake you a little bit starting the, starting the course with Turbo smiling like that. Ted playing a little peekaboo. Ted, if he gets off the shot here. Well, he's wasting valuable time. And the other side of that safety zone is the place that he should be shooting from. Almost got tangled up in the crossbow. Thirty seconds left. And look out, he's got it. <laughs> right a, on the button. There's a happy camper. <laughs> Time. Nobody does it to me twice. Oh, I those words, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Turbo, a little premonition there, perhaps. He's looking right over Ted's shoulder. He uses the rocket launcher and he gets the outside ring of the target. Turbo now setting his sights on Tommy Knox. Tommy trailing by 10. So it's imperative he not fall any farther behind. Turbo doesn't waste any time with those long shots early on. Doesn't give the contenders too much time to breathe. Ooh, Turbo trying to time the shots. Anticipating where the contender's going to be before he's actually there. Again, a contender gets a point every time he fires one of those five weapons. Tommy's picked up two. Less than 30 seconds left. Oh, hi. Ah. And in between, safe zone number three and four, Tommy Knox was picked off. Turbo sized him up and nailed him. Tony Bettendorf up first in the joust. He draws Turbo, a look at him, and Operation Desert Storm, where he was called up as an Army reservist. He was also his platoon's Army pugil stick champion. So he's had some experience here. Problem is, so has Turbo, and a lot of it. I spoke to him earlier, Mike. He said, I can't guarantee 10 points, but I'll guarantee you five. We'll see how Tony does. Tony, a tiger early on. He was the early aggressor. He's given Turbo all he can handle. But ultimately, Tony could only last 10 seconds, and Turbo gets the job done and takes the bow. Turbo is awesome. Well, Tony Bettendorf couldn't handle Turbo. Now it's Albert Gray's turn to see if he can. Albert played in the USFL with the Michigan Panthers, won the championship, defensive back. You know he's tough. Albert Gray being very offensive up there. But Turbo's got him going backwards, and when that happens, look out. Albert going on the offensive. He delivers some blows to Turbo. Nothing really smashing. However, Turbo comes up with a couple of uppercuts and sends Elbert off to the promised land. <laughs> 